Okay, so there's some things that I'm ambivalent about putting on video because I really want to do them in class and I really want uh, kids to be surprised because they're really cool. But then at the same time, because it's really cool, I want to put it on a video so you can see <clears throat> what's going on with this. And so this is something that you should really do yourself. You really ought to do it yourself. So what I did is I printed out uh, something from a previous video. So if you watch one of my previous videos, we found that the integral from zero to 10 of 10 x squared minus x cubed over 50 is 16 and two thirds, 16.666. So now we're going to find areas by weighing. Okay, so the first thing that I need to know is how big is my sheet of paper? Now my sheet of paper will work in, uh, will work in millimeters, so it's, uh, it's 11 inches, but we'll work in millimeters. So my paper is going to be, put that right there, 27.9 millimeters. 27 or 27.9 centimeters by 21.6 centimeters. Okay, so the area of the paper, 27.9 times 21.6 is going to be 602.64 centimeters squared. Okay, now <clears throat> I'm going to go and I'm going to measure my scale. So I'm going to say <clears throat> 10 units is 18.2 centimeters. in that direction, and then four units, well, we can go to five. Five is like 9.05. Let's just double check that. Yeah, that's more like 18.1. It's more like 18.1. So, 50 units squared is equal to 18.1 times 9.05. <coughs> 163.805 centimeters squared. So that means that one unit squared, divide that by 50, and I get 3.2761 centimeters squared. So that means that my paper I take uh, 602.64 divided by my answer, and I get 183.95 units squared. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm saying that my sheet of paper in units is 183.95 units squared. <clears throat> well now what I'm going to do is I'm going to weigh my paper. But now I've sort of written on that one 
and it shouldn't really matter, but I'm gonna weigh my paper. Four point five three grams. So my paper is four point five three grams. So that means that um, one hundred eighty three point nine five units squared divided by 4.53 grams. Or I just I want to put it the other way. I want grams per unit. 4.53 grams divided by 183.95 units squared is I do 4.53 divided by answer. I'm going to get 0. 0246, I'll do one more unit, grams per unit, unit squared. Okay, I hope you follow me. What I'm saying is that on this sheet of paper, one unit squared, if I took that and cut it out and weighed it, <coughs> that should hopefully weigh 0 0.02463 grams per unit. Now that's kind of at the the edge of my scale, so it's probably not gonna work out all that well. But what I wanna do is I wanna cut out this whole figure and weigh it. So again, let's go back to this sheet of paper and let's cut out this. So let's start off, and we want to be a little bit careful, but I want to go quick for the camera. So the quicker you make it, so the, the more careful you are, the hopefully the better you're going to be. Done the easy parts. Now I gotta do the hard part. go to the recurve that's going to be a little bit fun and then taper it down to zero okay so that <coughs> is this cut out so let's see what the weight of this is Point four two, <clears throat> call it point four two grams. Okay, so this is zero point four two grams, and then if I multi, and then if I divide that by zero point zero two four six three grams per unit squared which I should still have my calculator, so I do uh, 0.42 divided by my answer, and I get 17.06 units squared. And 
The official answer is 16.666. So I'm off by, take that number, subtract off, uh, subtract off 16 plus 2 thirds and divide that by 16 plus 2 thirds and I get I'm off by about my error is approximately 2.3 percent and I'm happy with that so that's showing how with a scale a pair of scissors and a printer and a graphing graphing program you can find this area by just cutting it out and weighing it.